Good morning. Today is September 19, 2022, and today I have a great game for you. This is one of those games where I don't make mistakes. Well, actually I do make mistakes, but not in some significant way that will change the game radically. I call this game Snowflake Avalanche. Basically the idea is a mountain loaded with snow, and a snowflake would fall, disturb the equilibrium of the snow, and it will cause the whole avalanche of the whole mountain. Another way to think of it is a domino a structure when you pull one domino and the whole structure comes coming down and it's that good. First, let's go for the puzzles. I have three puzzles for you. This is the first puzzle. Uh, the bishop has just moved to g7. What should white do? Alright, black has just moved the king to f7, what should white do? And in this case, black has just moved the pawn to e6, what should white do? Let's start uh, the game then. Now, uh, the opening is basically a unique opening and I've never encountered this before. And I'm not an opening expert anyway, so um, we're just going to go through it really quickly. And this is uh, the beginning of the initiative by uh, black basically trying to neutralize their influence here, but it's really not a good idea because I'm not going to take the bishop over here because that will allow black to develop the knight and take this kind of here. So I'm going to have to move the pawn here and cut this. And of course, black can always move the over here. And it's going to be problematic for me, so I'm not going to take the bishop over there. And this is the first puzzle. Notice that everything so far has been natural move. Uh, you look at the structure of the pawns over here. The, it's pretty normal over there. You take, you take a look at the structure of the knights, that's pretty normal over there. And you look at the structure of the bishop, well there's one over here and we exchange the light colored bishops on the on this square over here. So that's pretty normal with white. For black, notice that these pawns are ahead into the sixth rank. So that is unusual. Uh, the bishop over here is pretty standard if you want a castle over here. So that's normal. Uh, the knight over here is good for defensive maneuver. Again, that's kind of normal. So the really strange thing of uh, this thing over here is the black spot structure so that's something to you know something to think about because this is really unique structure and that's normal opening but this is puzzle number one so what should I do now I check this with the computer over here and suddenly that's 3.4 so I, I have a good advantage of this but remember this is move number 10 right so this is move number 11 boom Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawns, threatening the knights, and basically the knight will have to go somewhere or will have to take this pawn over here. Now, I have two pieces over there, so uh, it kind of balances out. Of course, the black has this one over here, so keep that in mind. Next move. And of course, just take the uh, uh, pawn and this is a suppress 
combo over there. But you can see suddenly evaluation goes from 3 to 7. So this is the right move. R takes the queen, rook takes the queen, rook takes rook, king takes rook, knight takes knight, and suddenly it's 7.8. So that's 5 move combo, just like that. Uh, because the black knight took the pawn over that, and that's not a good thing. So that's a combo. That's a mistake, because over that, that's 7.8, that suddenly becomes 9.1, .9 and that's a mistake because that's a check, that's a, that's a check, that's a fork, right? So that bishop, that looks gonna fall there. So take that, take that, and then I take the knight over there. So, and that's it. And you get to see this 8.4 valuation over there. Now, this is uh, <coughs> puzzle number two. Is it puzzle number two? It should be puzzle number two. No, it's not puzzle number two. Okay, this is puzzle number two. So this is puzzle number two over there. So notice that the king has just moved to f7. Now you look at this pawn over here. Shoot, right there. Notice that this is in the corner that the bishop cannot go anywhere, just this line over here. So if you look at this square over there, that's has you know two attacker over there, so that's the answer to the second puzzle. Boom. Exchange the bishop, and I'm up by a rook. Basically, just simplify the game completely. So that's the answer to puzzle number two. Boom. And black move the pawn over here. Yeah, I believe that's puzzle number three. Yes, puzzle number three. What should I do? And notice over here. Notice over here that yeah, black has three pawn islands and I only have two. So I have advantage in pawn structure. Really, uh, you really should study the pawn and with pawn structure because it determines the soul of the game over here. So what I should have done over here is take control over the square over here and push the pawn over here. That's what I should have done. I didn't do that, so that's a mistake. What I should have done, I should have pushed the pawn over there, take control of this square. So I will have the structure of a rook over here and, and pawn over here. And that's, I did the, the next move, basically. So, boom. So fortunately, black makes a mistake if if black didn't do that, if black move over here, then yeah, I cannot do that anymore, right? Because that one. Now, and then the king moved there, and then the, the rook will have to go someplace else. I would still win, but it's not going to be clean. But this way, it's clean. So what happens? There you go. The rook is invincible. The king cannot do anything with it. The king cannot take the rook. The king cannot take the pawn. So this is extremely solid structure over here. So the king cannot do anything. Next move. Now, over here, notice that this square is taken care of by the rook. So I could have just keep it over here, this structure, but I decided to just do it over here. That way, I can take away all three squares over here. And the king, if the king has to move, he has to move backwards. So that's just the way it is. A, a better, a better pattern basically. And at this point in time, there's no way I can lose over here. Three pawns against three pawns and a king. 
So at this point in time, I'm winning. Next move. And the king refused to abandon this pawn over here, but may as well because at this point in time I just want to win with this uh, pieces over here basically. I don't want to move the rook because it's so strong over here. And that's it. Black sign. And that's the end of the game. It's not uh, too much analysis on this one, right? That's because it's really, you know, really not, not much to it. It's very clean, very smooth. Uh, high scoring value. I think this is over 90 points or something. Uh, the, this is the standard opening, mostly. But from here, move 11, all the way up to here move 18 uh, move 19 move 20 this is all tactical so first hand move is standard opening opening basically middle game is uh, move 10 actually move 11 to move 21 over here so so again that's middle game. and that's Highly tactical over there. Highly tactical. And after that, over here, suddenly it becomes positional over here. So, so you got standard opening theory, you got tactical middle game, and you have basically positional or strategical game over there. So it reflects all the three different things that you need to study. You need to study opening theory you need to study tactics and you need to study strategy so it's a good game and fortunately i do learn all those things and i learn how how the pawn moves so so this is a good game and i'm glad to have to play this game that's it for today thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow